Are these just natural formations shaped by ancient underwater volcanoes and tectonic shifts? Or could they be something more? When you zoom out and consider how organized some of these formations are, you start to wonder, is the Bermuda Triangle just a geological oddity? Or is there something buried beneath it that we were never meant to find? In late December 2020, a 29-foot Mako Cuddy cabin vanished without a trace. There were 20 people aboard, not a single call for help. And after 84 hours of searching over 17,000 square miles of ocean, not even a floating scrap was found. And this wasn't centuries ago. This was just recently. By all logic, the vessel should have made a safe trip from the Bahamas to Lake Worth. The route isn't unfamiliar, and the weather that day wasn't known to be deadly. Yet the boat disappeared as if it never existed. And it's far from the only case like this. Over the years, the Bermuda Triangle has racked up dozens of such incidents. Planes gone silent, ships never arriving, people swallowed by the sea with no explanation, no wreckage, and no goodbye. There are plenty of theories surrounding it, from magnetic anomalies and methane bubbles to aliens and wormholes. Amazingly, this mysterious stretch of ocean is actually one of the most studied places on Earth. Scientists have been sending expeditions here, not only because of the disappearances, but because the region is geologically fascinating. The Gulf Stream flows through like a river within an ocean, powerful enough to move entire vessels off course. The seabed is full of hidden trenches and rising underwater mountains. The currents twist into unpredictable patterns. And the weather? It can change faster than you can blink. What's underneath it all might be even more puzzling. The Bermuda Islands themselves sit on top of massive seamounts, underwater mountains formed from ancient volcanic activity. Most of these are covered in thick limestone, and that limestone is composed of countless layers of tiny fossilized sea creatures dating back hundreds of millions of years. The limestone platform beneath the Bermuda Triangle is nearly six kilometers deep, an ancient graveyard turned geological mystery. Some of the northernmost coral reefs in the world survive here, barely clinging on in a place where natural conditions have remained mostly unchanged for eons. But here's what really bends the brain. Scientists can't even agree on how the Bermuda region came to be in the first place, a place so extensively studied, yet the very land beneath it defies origin. What does that tell you about the the deeper layers of this mystery? Are we looking in the wrong place for answers, up at the sky or around at the sea, when what we really need to understand might be buried beneath six kilometers of ancient stone? As it turns out, the real story behind this infamous region might not be lost ships or planes, but a geological force so bizarre, it changed how we understand volcanoes. For decades, scientists assumed Bermuda was just another volcanic island. Nothing too weird about it. It was thought to be the work of a mantle plume, a stable column of hot rock that rises from deep inside the Earth's mantle and melts through the crust to create islands, like the famous chain of Hawaii. It's a clean, predictable explanation. And at first glance, Bermuda seemed to fit that mold. But something didn't add up. Unlike Hawaii, which stretches out in a neat trail of volcanic islands thanks to the Pacific Plate moving slowly over the plume, Bermuda doesn't have a volcanic chain. There's just Bermuda, one island, one spot, no trail. No signs of recent volcanic activity either. Not for millions of years. That's a red flag if you're trying to blame a mantle plume. So in 2019, a large group of international geologists took a deeper look. They revisited an old core sample taken in 1972, a massive 800 meter long drill into the island's bedrock. And when they analyzed it using modern techniques, what they found didn't match any known mantle plume formation on Earth. The mineral composition inside the core was weird. Scientists detected lead isotopes and heavy elements that usually don't show up in these settings. The rock chemistry looked alien, not like anything formed by a typical mantle plume. It pointed to something stranger, a new, barely understood kind of volcanic activity. One that didn't start from a simple upwelling of magma, but from a chaotic disruption deep in the mantle transition zone. Here's what that means. Underneath Earth's crust, there's a region called the Mantle Transition Zone, sitting about 400 to 660 kilometers deep. It's like a mysterious buffer between the upper and lower mantle, filled with high-pressure minerals and ancient rock fragments. When the Atlantic Ocean formed roughly 175 million years ago, after the supercontinent Pangaea split apart, massive chunks of Earth's plates sank into this zone, forming a graveyard of old crust. But then, something strange happened. About 30 million years ago, a disruption in mantle flows, maybe a shift in convection patterns, stirred up those old, broken pieces. 
and instead of staying buried, these fragments began to rise, melt, and mix with water from the crust above. The result was a completely unique type of volcanic eruption that formed Bermuda. It wasn't caused by a traditional plume, and it wasn't from surface crust spreading apart like at a mid-ocean ridge. This was more like Earth burping up ancient recycled chunks of itself, a geological Frankenstein's monster stitched together from plate debris older than any living species on the island today. And here's the wildest part. Scientists now think this bizarre process could be responsible for other volcanic islands around the world, too. It's not just Bermuda. It might be a new mechanism that explains how whole archipelagos have formed, a groundbreaking discovery that rewrites the rules of geology. But but if what's rising above the waves is bizarre, what's lurking beneath the Bermuda Triangle might be even more mysterious. Just southeast of Bermuda lies something colossal, ancient, and far more extreme than any volcano, the Puerto Rico Trench, the deepest point in the entire Atlantic Ocean. The Puerto Rico Trench isn't just deep, it's mind-bending. At its lowest point, the Milwaukee Deep, this undersea canyon plunges 8,380 meters, 27,493 feet below sea level. That's deeper than Mount Everest's tall. Some estimates suggest it might go even further down. And guess what? This trench also lies within the Bermuda Triangle's boundary. Geologically speaking, this is one of the most dangerous subduction zones in the Atlantic. It's where the North American plate is scraping up against the Caribbean plate, causing extreme pressure, steep slopes, and unpredictable earthquakes. You can almost think of it as the exact opposite of Bermuda's volcanic formation. Instead of something rising up, here the Earth is swallowing itself down. But the proximity between this ultra-deep trench and the ancient volcanic formation of Bermuda raises a chilling possibility. What if both are connected? What if the same mantle disturbances that gave birth to Bermuda are also feeding into the instability of this trench? It sounds like a conspiracy theory, but to geologists, it's just good science. So while the trench is extreme in its scale and isolation, it's not otherworldly, and that's the paradox. It feels like it should be a source of mysteries, but it mostly just quietly exists. Yet beneath that unassuming surface, something far more dangerous may be hiding. No, not monsters, but methane. As mentioned, earlier, beneath the Bermuda Triangle's seabed lies a thick layer of sedimentary rock, limestone, sandstone, and clay. In the Bermuda Plateau region, this layer is one to two kilometers thick, but near the Bahama Banks, it reaches depths of five to six kilometers. Sediment builds up slowly here, just six millimeters every 150 years, so it's safe to say this seabed hasn't changed much in over 120 million years. But something about this seemingly static layer has drawn the attention of scientists, not just mystery hunters or writers, but respected oceanographers and researchers who focus on maritime safety. And what they've found is deeply unsettling. Within those sediment layers may lie vast quantities of methane hydrates. These are frozen, ice-like compounds that trap natural gas beneath the ocean floor. If these were to erupt suddenly, they could trigger massive destabilization in the water. In fact, scientists have explored whether these gas eruptions could be behind the sudden and unexplained disappearances of ships in the Bermuda Triangle. In lab experiments, Australian researchers created simulations using scale models of ships and sudden methane releases. The results were dramatic. Ships sank easily because the erupting gas drastically reduced the density of the water beneath the models, robbing them of buoyancy. If something like that happened in real life, especially without warning, a full-size ship could go under almost instantly. No distress signal, no debris field, and with the Gulf Stream nearby, any remnants would be scattered far and fast, explaining why wreckage is so rarely found. Studies from the U.S. Geological Survey confirm that large methane hydrate reserves exist all along the world's continental shelves, including a major one near the Blake Ridge. Off the southeastern coast of the U.S., right near the Triangle, everything seems to line up, except for one inconvenient fact. According to the same geological records, no significant methane eruptions have been recorded in the Bermuda region in the last 15,000 years. So, is the methane theory just another dead end? Even if much of the mystery surrounding the Bermuda Triangle has been debunked, the unknown continues to draw us in. People are fascinated not because we believe in magic, but because we crave the moment when mystery becomes discovery, when bold speculation, no matter how far-fetched, leads us to new truths. For decades, people have been obsessed with the sky, strange signals, vanishing planes, odd weather patterns. But now, as we deeper into the oceans, we're realizing that the real story is hiding out under the waves. Because this part of the Atlantic isn't just mysterious because of human disappearances. It's geologically bizarre. You're looking at underwater mountains made of basalt, buried under kilometers of crushed coral and ancient marine life. You've got coral reefs growing where they shouldn't. 
seamounts rising like islands in the dark. Even the very ground under Bermuda doesn't fully make sense, and scientists still don't agree on how it got there. It's as if this part of the ocean is following rules we haven't figured out yet. So maybe the mystery isn't just about where the ships went. Maybe it's about what this region has always been hiding, something buried, layered, ancient, and still active in ways we can't yet explain. What do you think is really going on in the Bermuda Triangle? And would you ever fly or sail through it?